What's up everybody? Alright, so uh, today I'm going to tell you that I'm going to start vlogging way more often. I'm going to try to do even daily if I can. I'll, I'll work my way up. But uh, today's video is going to be about me choosing the new Canon EOS R as my vlogging camera. So let's talk about the Canon EOS R and why I chose it for vlogging. Okay, the main reason is I think it's because of the video quality out of the camera. I don't have to really think too much because I know I'm going to get great image and great color straight out of the box. I'm not a colorist. I'm a director, writer, actor, and I'm also not a DP. So I got to choose something that's more easy to use, more user friendly than some other cameras that maybe have higher specs than the Canon. Um, but since I'm operating the camera 99% of the time, I'm gonna be choosing a camera that's really easy for me. All right, my second reason is, is because of the speed and efficiency of use. It's got an articulating screen and a microphone jack. I've searched for cameras to vlog with that has the articulating screen, but no microphone jack. Or if it's a high quality camera, it doesn't have an articulating screen. Super frustrating, right? Well, finally, I think the Canon EOS R has the right balance of high quality video and also an articulating screen and microphone jack. All right, so don't get me wrong, I've done a lot of research on this. It's actually been pretty frustrating. I think I probably spent like three or four months of time just trying to decide has caused a lot of procrastination in uh, choosing this camera and you know I have a lot of loyalty to Sony because that's what I've shot uh, my last two films on um, and don't get me wrong so the Sony cameras a lot of you are probably considering the Sony a7 III um, you know that's probably the most comparable in price and then the next step up is the a7R III but I think you'd probably go for the three uh, those cameras have really high performance in terms of image quality, but you really, really, really have to tweak it. You have to um, know how to do all the technical settings to get the most out of that image sensor. Uh, whereas with the vlogging and the Canon, um, I think that I place the emphasis on um, you know speed and overall. Uh, not having to adjust too many settings. So here is the um, yeah. location in Hong Kong. Here is our community for which our member can use our common area to chill out a bit. Alright everybody, so thanks for watching. Uh, that's my choice for vlogging camera is the Canon EOS R. And that's a personal choice. You gotta choose what camera is right for you. Uh, but hopefully with this I'll be able to put up more vlogs. I'm going to work my way up to daily vlogs at one point and I'm going to try a first stint and see what happens. Um, but uh, yeah, stay tuned for more uh, videos. I hope you'll subscribe and like this. And uh, I think next up I'll focus on what software I'm going to choose for vlogging as well. Uh, I've been editing for almost 15 years. so. And I've used Final Cut Pro, I've used Adobe Premiere, and I've used DaVinci. So um, hopefully you'll stay tuned for that next video.